Hello and welcome to a brand new series called the BI Mystery Files, where we use real business data to solve a real business mystery. Over the next four episodes, released over consecutive days this week, we'll follow a strange and unexpected drop in sales. Not a slow decline, not seasonal variation, but a sudden unexplained drop. Each day, we'll dig into data from different business sources to uncover the truth. This is not your average analytics walkthrough. This is a detective story, and the clues are in the data. Each episode will bring us one step closer to the truth, and by the end, we'll know not only what happened, but who was responsible and how it could have been prevented. If you'd like to follow along, you can. For this week only, I've made all of the project's data files completely free to download. And in the immortal words of that famous detective Columbo, just one more thing. Before we dive in, if you think you've got what it takes to crack the case before the final episode airs, I'm turning this into a little competition. Submit your theory, what happened, why it happened, and who was responsible before episode four goes live. The person who gets the closest to the full picture will win free enrollment to either the BI Analyst Starter Program or the BI Consultant Masterclass, whichever you prefer. Details are in the video description. Good luck, detectives, and let's dive in and open up our first BI mystery file. So we work for Snuzzles Inc, a quirky, fast-growing, direct-to-consumer toy brand that makes smart, soft, cuddly creatures kids absolutely love. Think Furby meets Tamagotchi, but updated for the modern age with sensors, sound effects, and optional app connectivity. The Snuzzle range includes three models. Snuzzle Classic, the original huggable snuzzle with built-in expressions and mood-based sound effects. Snuzzle Mini, a smaller, more affordable version, perfect for collecting and gifting. And Snuzzle Glow, the nighttime snuzzle with a soft glow belly and lullaby mode for bedtime cuddles. So yesterday afternoon, around 5.30, we received an email from management. It simply said, Hi. We've seen a sudden and unexplained drop in sales starting from the 22nd of June. It doesn't appear to be seasonal or related to stock availability. Can you take a look and let us know what you find? Thanks, management. That's it. No other context, no warning signs, just a vague note and a steep revenue drop. So let's start where the problem first appeared in our sales data. The platform used is Shopify. For this project, we're going to be analyzing and visualizing our data using Looker Studio, Google's free to use BI tool. For those of you unfamiliar with the tool, here is how to upload your CSV data files. We click create data source, choose CSV file upload, and then locate the Shopify CSV file. It'll get uploaded and processed, and then we hit connect and check the data source schema to make sure all of the fields have been correctly identified. And then click build report. And here we are in the report builder with all of our fields here on the right, ready to use. I'm gonna start by adding a few headline KPI scorecards, starting with total sales, which is this total metric here. I'm gonna change the display name to say total sales instead. Next, I'll copy and paste this and swap out total sales for line item quantity, and then change this to display units sold instead. Next, I'd like to see a total number of orders. To calculate this, I'll need to add a field and use the formula count distinct order number. Again, I'll copy and paste the scorecard and add the total orders calculated metric. Another thing I'd like to calculate is the fulfillment lead time so that we could perhaps see if there are any operational issues. I'll add another field and the way to calculate this would be to use the date time diff function. I'll put the fulfillment date first, comma, pay that date, comma, day to see how many days between the two dates. Now we'll add this new calculated field to another scorecard. 
The figure of 3,500 is the sum of all the date differences, so we'll need instead to use average, which gives us a more coherent number. That's a good start and gives us the overall picture for June, but it doesn't show us the drop in sales we've been asked to look into. The best way to visualize that would be to look at daily revenue and orders over time. A simple time series chart will suffice. Date as the dimension and total as the metric. And there we can see it clearly. From the 22nd to the 28th, there is what looks like a dramatic drop in total sales. Now I'm going to add some more optional metrics to the chart so that we can see those as well. Quantity, order count and average lead time. In fact, I'm going to modify the data schema of this data source by going to Resource, Manage Added Data Sources and Edit. And make sure the sales and quantity metrics always show the updated title, i.e. total sales and units sold. And I'll make sure that average is the default aggregator for lead time. Actually, let's call it average lead time instead. OK, so back in the report, we'll go into view mode and start looking at the different metrics. Total sales are down, as we know, but what about units sold? That's down as well. Total orders down similarly and average lead time. Not displaying any similar drop. So there's definitely something awry with the sales and orders. Now we should investigate the individual products to see whether there's one that's been particularly affected. To do this, I can simply add the product name as the breakdown dimension here. Aha, the plot thickens. We can now clearly see that it's the Snuzzles Glow sales that drop like a stone. Now, in these kinds of scenarios, you would automatically wonder if there was a stock or inventory issue. But if you can remember from the email we received, this was ruled out as a cause. So we'll need to dig deeper. Just to make sure we're not missing anything, I'm going to add a couple more charts to this dashboard. First one is sales by customer state in a geomap and then an overall simple breakdown of products by sales in a donut chart. Let's filter the whole dashboard by the suspicious date range. There doesn't seem to be any significant change in the geographic data, and as we would expect, the percentage of total sales that the Snuzzle Glow represents for this period is down to just 17%. All of this makes sense and reinforces the idea that there is an ordering issue. So after analyzing this first data set, what do we know? Sales have clearly dropped and it's the Snuzzled Glow that's taken the biggest hit. But there's no stock issue and nothing else in the Shopify data suggests a problem with operations, which means we're looking at something external. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into our Google Ads data to see if there's anything strange going on with the campaign performance. Could it be a bidding issue, a disapproved ad, or something even more subtle? We'll find out in episode two. And don't forget, for this week only, you can download all the data files completely free and try to solve the mystery yourself. Submit your theory using the link in the description before the final episode airs. The closest answer wins free enrollment to the BI Analyst Starter Program or the BI Consultant Masterclass, your choice. If you're enjoying this investigation so far, please give the video a like and do also subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you're first to know when the next videos go live. Okay, data sleuths, I'll see you tomorrow for the next clue. Until then, bye.